Hi everybody, today I wanted to do a pick a card, but this one is a little different. We have our angel answer card, so they're going to give us a specific answer, and then we're going to pull some messages from our loved ones to see why that is the way the, it is, why the answer is the answer it is. So I will leave the timestamps below. Um, we will have one, two, and three. So really think of a question and fill which one you are most pulled to, and the timestamps will be below. Hi, everybody who chose number one. Let's see what your message is. Really get a question in mind as a yes or a no or Maybe what are you really working on right now? Um, really get that question in your mind. I am going to shuffle the cards and we're going to pull one angel answer um, for you. And then we will get some messages from your loved ones on why that is the answer. Listen to your intuition. Okay. Okay. So whatever the um, question is, I feel like you know the answer to it um, or you know how to get to your question. If you're asking, um, like, can I do this? Can I do that? Like, you know the answer. Like, obviously, yes, you can do it, um, but you need to do more work for it. Let's see. Um, you need to really trust yourself, though, because I think that you know the um, answer. You know the guidance. You really... Um, you need to trust yourself. Let's pull um, some cards and see what your loved ones have to say. Oh my goodness. Whatever you are doing, you need to listen to yourself. Listen to your inner voice. Um, as, as you are asking questions, they are guiding you. Really, really trust yourself. And I actually was just um, trying to do a reading right before this. Um, but I just felt like this one was calling me more. Um, so I decided to do it. So whoever needs to hear this, um, this you need to trust yourself. Um, the spirits are really working with you. Uh, oh my gosh. Okay. So yeah, they're really working with you. Um, they're here to assist you and they really want to help you. Yeah. So wh whatever you're asking for is a yes. Um, it's a yes. They you're going to get there eventually, um, but you need to listen to them. They're trying to guide you somewhere, um, and that intuitive feeling is them talking to you. You need to trust yourself. I feel like you know the answer. You know how to get there, um, but you don't trust yourself, and they're trying to guide you. So when you're not trusting yourself, you're not trusting um, spirit, and they're trying to tell you, like, stop. We are here together. Yeah, like, together. Um, you guys are connected together. Um, the two drafts, like they are with you. They are trying to help you um, get to your goal and you really need to trust them. You really need to focus on um, that inner voice because like I said, that inner voice is spirit helping you. Like spirit is trying to um, tell you and your like your past on loved ones are really trying to guide you. Um, spirit and your past on loved ones are really trying to lead you the way. Um, and with animals on here, um, definitely pay attention to animals around you um, and like nature. This is just like super nature-y. So I would say pay attention um, to the nature around you. They definitely communicate with you when you ask them questions. Hi, everybody. Welcome to number two. Let's really think of our question. I'm going to pull one angel answer to see what the angels have to say about the question that you were asking. And then we are going to ask our past on loved ones to give us a message to um, why that is. And let me tell you, the last one was pretty um, a good message. So let's see what your past on loved ones and the angels have to bring through today. Helpful people. So I think... Um, you're getting help from somebody around you, um, but definitely on the other side, they are helping you. Um, they want you to know that they are helping you. Um, whatever you are asking for, uh, you have a lot of help to get to where you want to be. Um, and once you get there, like they will be so proud of you. Like These people around you who are trying to help you aren't negative. Um, if you're feeling negative or if you're feeling like um, insecure, I know for me, um, I woke up insecure the other day and it was for no reason. Like I just felt really uncomfortable and sad. Um, I think something's going on with the moon. So I 
was um, I, I was talking to my mom, but I just feel like there's so many people around you that love you. Um, when you are feeling down about yourself, really focus on everybody who um, loves you. But more to the point, these whoever's around you is helping you get to where you need to be. Um, oh, I feel like you're feeling really down about something. Um, like you don't think that you can do it. You don't have faith in yourself. You don't think... Um, that you're enough to get to where you want to be, but everybody loves you. Like, look at this. Um, look, is that uh, the girl in the middle? Um, like, look at her, um, Virgin Mary, I think, and Jesus. Like, look at them, and they are, like, just so beautiful to everybody. Like, everybody loves them, and have you laughed today? Like, find it in your soul to have joy. I feel like you don't trust that you can do it, and you can yeah, believe in your abilities. Um, you, I feel like you're so smart and amazing and you can do so much. Like you are so beautiful and you are so talented, but you don't trust yourself. Yeah. Like, um, continue to grow seeking knowledge from the other people. So what you need to do is really trust yourself. The people around you really do love you. Like they're trying to help you. Um, don't feel negative about it. Like don't get down because they want it. They want you to succeed, and you deserve to succeed. Like you're beautiful. You have such. Um, you have so much talent that you really need to um, use. And I feel like you really doubt yourself, and you have so many people around you to help get where you want to be. Um, and that's something that you need to focus on. And that's what your past on loved ones want you to know is like whatever you're asking for, like really depend on the people around you. Um, I feel like you feel so alone, like maybe you don't have like family or something, but like you still have such a big group of people around you that love you and want to be with you. So really focus on that, like focus on the people who want to be around you. Um, and as you get more positive, I feel once you get in a more positive mindset, whatever you're asking for will come to you. But you really need to remember the joy in life and the love around you um, first. I feel like you're really down about something and you need to just focus on everybody around you who loves you so much because there is so much love around you. So I hope you guys enjoyed your message. Hi, everybody who picked number three. Um, we are going to pull a angel answer to whatever your question is. So really think of your question. And then we are going to pull messages from heaven to see why the answer is that way. What is your um, loved one trying to tell you? So let's get into it. No need to worry. Um, whatever you are asking for, it is coming to you. Stop worrying about it. Um, and if you think a situation needs to go a certain way um, and it didn't work out that way and you're super bummed about it, something more beautiful is coming in, something that's going to make you way happier, something that's going to really um, make your soul feel like uh, blessed. You're going to feel fulfilled. So really stop worrying about whatever it is um, that you're worrying about because it's about to get better. That situation is about to, um, yeah, okay, so they're supporting you. They're actually, like like I said, the situation's about to get better. Like uh, your loved ones are giving you their hand. Like, come on, we're going somewhere better. Um, rinse out, like rinse and cleanse yourself. Really feel, um, I feel like if you're feeling negative, Get that energy out. Push it as far away from you as you can because they are trying to help you. And our thoughts and our beliefs are what we manifest to us and we don't mean to. Like you can think um, all day like positively and sometimes like something bad happens. But I promise you um, from doing the 33-day challenge, and if you haven't done it, go to Soul Mana, look at it. Um, that 33-day challenge really changed my mindset. When somebody starts being negative around me, I just push it away. Um, if I have a negative thought, obviously, like, it's hard to push it away. Um, but I really try to remember the good about that situation. Try to find the good and whatever it is. Um, and normally, it will try to um, 
it'll fix it. And I mean, like, realistically, like about a work or um, home, just something like about that. Like, if you're thinking negatively, just think like, at least I, you have a job, at least you have a roof over your head. Um, you might not have a ton of extra money, but at least you've got your bills paid. So like, I just think that you need to be a little bit more positive, but they're really trying to give you their hand to be like, hey, like, let me help you out. Yes. Oh my gosh. So, um, they, they're really trying to grab your hand. Like, Hey, we're going to get you. It's going to get better. We're making it better for you. Like, give me your hand and I will help you out. And you need to find, like I said, like, just don't think negative, find the blessing and love and everything. If it is a bad situation, I know that it's hard to do it, but like, if you want a new home and the one that you have currently sucks, at least you have a bed to lay in, right? At least you have a roof over your head. Um, if you don't have like the most amount of food, at least you ate to like at least you ate that meal. Like you need to be more grateful um, and get out of that like bad worrying um, sense because I feel like when you worry, it brings more negativity into you. Um, yeah, so you need to be more positive um, when you are thinking so negatively or when you are feeling negative like that's what comes into you you don't give yourself enough time to manifest the positive because you're positive for a second and it turns off like spread your ring wings and fly be proud of yourself understand that sometimes things suck and i know like it's i understand like it, it gets rough it's really hard but just try to remember that like at least one good thing happened today and i promise you as you focus on the good and not the bad you will notice more good than bad and just really try to um switch your reality and really try to turn your reality around of like this i for me i would notice the first negative thing and this is like something that's popping into my head before i really decided to get grounded and um try to work in spirit like with spirit and try to do any of this like i would think of every possible negative thing about a situation before i went to do it because like i didn't want to do it if i was mad about something i would think about every negative thing in that situation but really when you're mad and when you're angry and when you don't like something think about the positive in that one thing like i don't want to go to the store today but I'm going to go to the store with my mom and make her happy. I don't want to go to the store today, but I'm going to go get some groceries for my house. And that will make me happy that I have food at home. Like try to not think about something like negative. Always like think about it in the positive. Like um, for me, I, um, I get annoyed with like the littlest things. Um, I am a super clean freak. So when my husband is just like home and he is just hanging out, um, I think the house gets so messy and I need to remember that like that stuff can get cleaned up. And I remember the positive, like we have this beautiful home and these toys for uh, my baby to play with. And we have a TV and a living room for my husband and baby to play in together. Like they deserve to play in that like that's a beautiful thing like they should be playing in the living room and having the best fun like i need to look at the positive and not look at like anything negative and it could be the littlest negative thing just remember positive like be positive and that's all they're saying like if you are positive there is no need to worry so i hope you enjoyed your message